welcome back to my channel i hope you had a lovely christmas and a happy new year this is the paper pack we are going to work with now it's not a very big paper pack but we can do it this is the gingham gardens from my mind's eye and there's just six sheets in this paper pack you do get the stickers as well let's get into it and i can show you what they look like i also got the infamous and there is quite a bundle in here i also got the eight by six uh, 24 sheets and this is also double-sided let's flip through this quickly and you can see it is it is nice it's very nice i do like plaids and stripes the paper pack this is our sticker sheet very pretty and this is the paper i'm just gonna turn it and on the other side got the script and then these flowers are so nice it's very pretty and that was the last page now to incorporate with this if we don't have enough of the papers that i doubt we i think we will we will have and i've also got my black cardstock this is from poppy craft and this is what we're going to do we're gonna use stumping up this is gray granite and it it works it fits in well perfectly this is if we don't have enough paper and we can we have to substitute this is what we're going to use i think this is oh i don't know it's cardstock i don't know what the gsm is on this one they don't have it on the label but i think it is it's say cardstock it is also nice and heavy the same as the black and i've cut already the pages and everything just to make it easier for us we're also going to use our spell binders this is the oval it is um the large large ovals in the spell binders and then this is the curved borders too and that one it is the floral ovals and it is the nestabilities and then just a round corner punch for the corners and that's basically all we are going to use score tape your glue of your choice i've got this one and i've got my art glitter glue also going to use your ruler pencil and scoring tool your trimmer and your scoreboard now let me give you the measurements for the base i've joined it already okay so you what you're going to need for your base you need two of your papers don't cut it we use the whole paper sheet this is for this folio it makes it so much easier so two of them and what they do me measure i just want to put it aside they measure 11 and 5 8 by by 8 and 1 8 or whatever the length is and you need two of it 
then you need a small piece that we are going to join in the middle here because the whole length that we need is 26 inches so the piece you're going to put in here it is um three five eight and then your length eight and one eighth when you join it you need to have your piece as 26 inches but before you join it we will score first we're going to score at a half an inch let me show you it will be this one half an inch then we're going to score at sorry that's one and a half an inch then we're going to score at eight and nine and you're going to do it with the other one as well so both of your papers you're going to do the scoring when you join it on this side you need to have the one and a half inch over here and then the one and a half of inch over here so you just turn it so that you have your half an inch one and a half here and one and a half there okay that's easy now we're going to reinforce the middle because i don't like this where we join it i really don't like that so we are going to put a piece in and the piece that we're going to put in we're just going to cover it up nicely it's going to be seven seven and five eighths and then eighths the length of your page we're going to make two of them because we will do the back as well we're going to do the back as well so our base will be nice and secure and it will be it can take the waterfall that we're going to put in the middle then when you when you join it all i'm going to do these two a little bit lighter I'm just gonna put it on the one side so when you do your all your scoring and you glue it together then we're gonna start so long let me do it this way fold it on your fold line just help it a little bit now because i use the cardstock that is so heavy i score both sides and just make sure it's level if it's level here it should be level there and we burnish it and then we're going to go to our next score line and we're just helping it a little bit bring it over and let's burnish and we're going to do the next one have it striped okay so i'm just going to turn this and do it from this side Tuck that over, square it up, and burnish. And the last one, let's bring it over and burnish. Okay, this is how it's going to work our foliage so if you put that like that together let me get a clip it should be in a square this should be a square okay now let's do let's do 
this page first our reinforcement and we're just going to glue it up now let me glue mine I'm gonna I'm gonna use glue and my score tape I think I'm gonna use my half an inch score tape and what I'm going to do is on the edge literally on the edge on both sides you don't want it to lift you need on the edge you need to have it as flat as it can be now I'm just going to put that aside and just going to show you on the edge going to do it on all four edges so the idea is why you need to have it as as flat as you can so you can't see that you've put that piece in that is the whole idea and now I've got both of mine done and Let's put, oh, uh, if you go over your edge like that, just cut it off. Um, it is, or you can roll it in with your finger if you do remember. But it's better to cut it off. Now, that is for the other side. And let's do this one. Now, it should It should fit it should fit just a little bit away from our score lines I'm just gonna bring the camera a little bit closer you see it's a little bit away from the score lines it's a very funny day today it was so bright and sunshine and and then all of a sudden it it's overcast now let's do this if you watch my previous videos you know that I'm not very good in taking all this the tape off um, uh, yes I'm not very good in doing that but what we're going to do is I'll take the middle ones off Then I'm going to do the inside with the glue. Now my glue is nearly to the end. I'm just going to let it run a little bit. And what I'll do is I'm going to lift this, just the corner, and I'm folding it over. just so that I can pull it now when you fold this over you need to pull it to the side not to the inside to the other side so you can grab and pull it and this should be ready now And 
let's put it you see so glad my glue is like um, you know like a hot glue gun but it cleans very easy okay i'm on the edge this is the most important and i'm on the edge yes and let's get that done now i'm gonna pull Just want to get the glue off here. And we're going to burnish. I need to get my bigger one. Make sure that the glue is spread evenly. Now we're going to go to the inside. Now you can't even see that you've joined it. So let's go to the inside and we can do the inside as well. Okay, it's just, you can hear my neighbor's dog. And we are going to do our paper for it i'm just going to get that all ready so these two these two flaps here that's flaps they are going to be pockets we're going to make them into pockets now what i want you to do is i want you to write on your paper so we don't forget it's magnets We need to do magnets don't write it too on the edge <laughs> you need to um, uh, rub it off again and what I also going to do is I'm going to slash ribbon so I can remember to do my ribbon that is that was very easy and it is actually looking very nice now we're going to go into our paper so what we're going to cut first it's going to be for the back the middle back the top and well the right and the left front and the back I'm going to cut into mine and let me show you what I decided what to keep for the front. Let me just lift my camera up again so that I can be in frame. Sorry guys, that's better. So let me get, get to my paper cutting and then I'll come back and I can show you what it looks like. Now, if you don't have exactly the same paper packets that I do, you can use anything that you like, but that is the amount of paper that we're going to use for it. This is my idea. I always try to use the minimum paper packs and get the most out of it. I'm going to do mine. I'll come back and then I can show you and I can give you the measurements for that as well. For our front page, um, no, I keep on saying front page, it's not. 
for the front of the album this page here the front one this is what we need to do you need to have a piece that is ten and a half in the inches by five and score it in a half and we've got a folder that's what we need to have uh, it's very it's very light okay then with our die this is the nestabilities from spellbinders and it's called floral oval that is what you do get when you cut it out that's the big one there are some smaller ones in the set but this is the big one it's beautiful i did it again i cut it out again and then i use the oval this is spellbinders the large ovals and it fits nicely in the middle and you do cut that out so you've got an opening now you can decide you're gonna put you can put pattern paper on here and you can have a frame where you can slide a photo in but what I was thinking of the shaker cards are so much everybody's doing shaker cards and shaker on their uh, on their um in the album now you can do it this way if you do it this way it will fit if you do it that way it will fit and i think this is what i'm going to do it can i open like that on the front of our folio we're going to angle it and that's how we're going to do it so when you do cut if you've got any ovals or squares because we've got a square you can use a square for your um cut out as well whatever you think you it, it's going to make a nice shaker um a shaker element then do that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get acetate and I'm going to cut it all around. So all I do with the acetate is I put it and I'll just hand cut it out. Let me show you. This is my acetate sheet and you can see I've used it already. It is a, it's a very, um, it's not too thick and it's not too thin it's a, it's a nice one to work with so all I'm going to do is I'm gonna eyeball it and I'm gonna make a mark and that's where I'm going to cut it and I think it is in line with what I've got there already now you can cut it by hand you can cut it on your trimmer however it, it's easy for you then you do it got the blade out too much and that can go back in a bucket and let's bring our frame as long as it's gonna go all over where we need it now this is what I do and uh, probably there's some better ways of doing it than um, I. so what I do is you see I've got it here on this side so I don't need to cut that and then I'm just going to bring my scissors in and I'm going to follow that stipple line and I'm going to keep cutting on that stipple line try anyway ok 
high so let's see it doesn't look very good but nobody's gonna see it nobody's gonna see it okay there it is now we can glue it on i think i'm gonna cut that point off i've got a point there and i'm just gonna trim it Add little glue and let's glue it. I need to get another smaller bottle. Mine, yes, after all these years, it looks terrible. And let's bring this up and now it's maneuvering it so it can fit so let's just put it aside so it can get dry so we need now to get paper I don't want it black I want pattern paper on this one so let's see if you put it like that you want to see the pattern paper with your goodies that you're going to put in oh, I got it off thank goodness <laughs> okay that is the pattern paper now I think I think this is this is the one I'm going to use I might use that one I don't have to cut into my bigger page the only thing that we are going to do now it is we use our oval and we're gonna oh okay now I think I'll have it this way I'll have it this way and let's die cut this now I die cut that and on this piece it is dry already I do have this it's foam strip from Couture Creations if you need the barcode and we're going to start on the black and we're going to make all around like the picture frame now be careful if you've got filigree don't go over your filigree open that you will see the white type if you do have black that will be so much better you see how easy this is the tape can curve you can manipulate it as much as you like so now I need to eyeball and see how much I'm going to use for that piece there let's do it that one and bumped it next to that one needs to be very close yes I am and turn it turn it and come very close to that one yes I am and that piece we can use again all right quite happy with that and let me go and grab all the goodies I want to put in there for now that can stay and get dry and I can grab all the sequins or whatever you want to put in you can do that as well 
Okay, so what I've done is I've opened the pack with the ephemeras and I found this number one and these flowers, but I think these ones are too big. I am putting them back, but I've got this one dream and I am going to put this with the uh, other items that I want for my shaker window. And what I've done is I've got a punch, a hard punch. This is from Stumping Up. I don't think that this is available anymore. That was Petite and the Stars. So I punched two out and it is on top here that I punched it out. Why not use it? Then I'm just going to do a few. I just don't want to undo everything if I don't like it. And let's do this color. Oh, there is. I'm just going to take one away. And I think let's do the pink. Oh, come on. can put a few pink in there okay I think that is it for the, that one and here's the sequins let's get the multicolors maybe that one now I they are all different sizes so i think maybe some of this Ooh, that's it now you can put in as much as you like or as little as what you want i think i just need to just have some more clear ones Okay, let's see this. I think that's I think that's more than enough. More than enough, yes. And let's put that one in. I don't want to overdo it. You can do as much as like what you like. And I'm just gonna take off the backing. just want to connect these ones that's it all right and let's hope for the best I think I'm fine and that is it so those ones are they are moving around they're not too thick so that's good. That is good. Right, let's put pattern paper on there and then we can put our frame on. I am going to do this one and hopefully. So I end up cutting the other page in the pack and it measures that is four and three quarters by five. Four and three quarters by five inches. And I do like this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue mine down and let's see how that's going to turn out. I think my glue is on its last legs. And let's put it, I don't think 
the flowers matters which way you're gonna put it oh yes it does now I can see it does okay and just put it on as best as you can and let's burnish that so we can let the paper and the glue grab So what you also can do, you can put this foam dots at the back and raise it and I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise it, I'm going to put it on foam dots. Let's see how that will look. So I've got just um, foam dots on and we can take the backing off okay let's see put it in the middle if you can and yes i think that looks so nice there's not too much in and there's not too little and it's open up very nice okay so I'm just putting this aside so that it can get dry and then we can carry on with our first page the first page is going to be on this side and this we will make into a nice pocket is we can cut our flip out or our inner book our inner page it's this one that's our inner page and we can cut out the flip out for that we can cut out the pocket for that and then on the back of this we might use that one for a pocket it's just a nice deep pocket we will i will still put that aside so what you need to do is six and a half by eight that is what you need for your inner page or your inside of your page and we will score it at the six and a half we will score it at the half then it's six by eight and we will put it in our book like that and that's what we call the inner page So I'm just going to give you time, just cut, cut yours down, we, not, we will not put it in yet, but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put my score tape on top of my flap, not this side, but when it faces me, that's where I'm going to put my score tape. And I think I'm going to use this one. And just one strip. And I'm going to burnish that. And I'm going to put it that side. And that is for, for the flip out. You are going to cut. That's correct. The length is seven and a half 
the width five and three quarters. The seven and a half length, you're going to score it at the half. Because it's going to flip out. Okay. That is going to be for our inner page. When you're done with that, just going to turn it. Um, we might as well do the pocket. This is the pocket that I've got for the bottom here. It measures 8 inches and the width is 7th 8. And you're going to score half an inch, half an inch. And that's going to come onto your page at the bottom. So we can put that together. And we're going to turn that. So this is our two options. We're going to put that with it. Still with this pine here, with our inner page, this is what we're going to do. First, we are going to cut. We're going to cut this way. Five and three quarters. And this way, eight and a quarter. Then you're going to score half an inch at the two sides and one on the bottom, half an inch. We will fold on that. And we will finish it very nicely. Now, this part you have to you have to burnish it very good we need to have it as flat as we can get it and because my cardstock i work with cardstock it's different okay so that's that one then this one we are going to do five inches And then in the width, it's seven and a quarter. We will put that through our die cut machine and we will die cut that out. And now when you do this, make sure you get the middle of your paper and put your die cut in the middle so that you've got it on either side evenly. And then this side here, you can cut it just straight. This, we need to cut out that corner. So what I'll do is I'll cut on this, this side, the inside of my score line. And I'm going to cut the inside of my score line. I don't want my score lines to show. And we can do it the same with this one and cut up all right now we are going to do a pocket page as well with our inner page this is how it we're gonna do it we're gonna turn this in we will put this on top and that's going to be our flap for our pocket page. And all we need to do is we're going to do a little bit of trimming. So we're just going to cut that straight and we're going to cut that straight and going up and going up. That's all we're going to do. 
And that's our pocket page for there. On this side of our pocket page, we can decide if we want to use this piece for just a nice pocket. And that is an option we can do. Now, let's put them like that together. And first, we are going to grab paper. We need to put our paper on first. This is our flip out. I'm just going to put the rest up there, out the way, so we can get our paper to put over here. Right. As you can see, I've changed my mind again. I think the flowers that was at the bottom, they look much better on the page. Okay, and that is it. Now we're going to grab our flip, our flip out. And we will hook it onto our pattern paper. And that's where we are going to make sure that you've got both sides, both sides, you've got the same amount. Yes, pinch, hold, hold. And let's lift it up. Bring it over. Now, make sure you're not in, you know, there is your school line. Stay away from your school line and press it down. That is our flip page and just burnish it very good. Now, what we're going to do is... At the bottom here, we've got this narrow, it's a very narrow pocket. But I would like to, to do this pocket. So when you put something in the pocket, it's going to hold that close. That's why the pocket is so small. And this is what we're going to do. We will fold it around. And I think I've got, I've scored mine. I should have scored another, another one. I think I scored my wrong. If you did the same, my apology. Um, for the measurements of this one let's just cut a fresh piece I've got a lot of off cuts of my black cardstock so I'm going to do that okay 7 8 and I haven't cut it down so what I'll do is I'll just turn my page and what I'll do is I'm going to make a pencil mark on this side and I'll make a pencil mark on that side and that is now you can put it on your on your school board if you want to and you can t turn it if it's going to be easier for you so for me, it's, it will be easier. Now that piece there, it's too long for me. I'm just going to cut it. Just eyeball it. Just cut it a little bit shorter. And with this, I am going to use glue. So I'm just going to glue that up. Make sure... 
I'm level with my page. Yes. Come here. Level with my page. Then, what I'll do, I'm just going to do a small a line of glue. Now, the art glitter glue is a very good glue. You don't need a lot. You will find out if you use that, you don't need a lot. Okay, I think that is all I need. Then we can bring this over and line it up with the edge of the paper and And then we can bring this one and just cut a little bit off. It's too much. And we can bring it over. And that is our bottom pocket. So we can test it. Let me just grab something else. That is all what we need for that. Okay, we can do our paper. I picked the pattern paper for the flip out and I can give you the measurements for it. It is five and a half by six and seven eighth. Five and a half by six and seven eighth. And then the bottom pocket, it is the top that I've cut off of that page and I think that will fit in there nicely and let's see yes let's see we're gonna glue this down and then I'm just gonna cut this to fit and then I'm gonna glue it down as well Now I'm done. I've glued mine in. I just need to finish that a bit more. And we can lift our pipe, flip out. Now we can go to this side, that side of our flip out. And let's get the paper for that. So it is six and three quarters and by five and a half. Your belly band. Okay, we're going to do the belly band and that will be the lens. What I've cut was eight inches, half an inch on other side or measure on your paper and then do your scoring and it is one and a quarter and this one fits my paper beautiful and what we're going to do is we can put some glue glue and we will hold it Make sure it's in the middle and then we're going to glue up our page 
and then we will plant it in onto our flip out okay my page is done let me show you and the belly band is in and I think these two look quite nice together at the bottom I've found this forever friends this is this was in the ephemeris and I've just put it on there and this page it is all done we can come back with our off cuts and see what we can get for our belly band and we can put score type just in the middle and then we can put this onto our page so let me show you for the beginners or people that haven't watched my videos before this is this is the way I like to do my on my pages when I use score tape I just go all around and I try to go onto the edge of the paper that is when it really it lies flat and and let's do this one And then I do a two down and then we can fill in with glue and let's burnish we need to get all the air out because it will lift over time if you don't burnish it very good I don't know if my glue is gonna do it oh it's still coming out and I all I'm going to do is I'm gonna lift the middle ones and then these ones I'm just gonna fold them out so you need to fold them to the side if you do the same I'm not I'm not good with lining up straight so this way it helps me to do that and now we can put it on our page And if you think you are even, then you can bring it down. Now we can pull these ones off. And I just want to open it. And we can um, bring it. Let's just burnish it with our bone folder and make sure it is down. Just want to go 
in there, maybe the round one. Oof. That's it. That's our first page. On this one, we can use ephemeras when we are going to revisit our pages. Now we need to get paper pattern. <laughs> sorry. Now we need to get pattern paper for this side. And I think I'm just going to use this and we're going to make a nice big pocket. Um, we might die cut that. I think that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to die cut that. And this is a nice opportunity for me to show you how I do it. This is the two that I use. In this, you do get the um that separate and the edge this cutting edge is separate as well um so the there's different designs in it and this is my favorite one i think this is it's it's very elegant okay let's get the middle I just want to first see if I do the score lines and this is going to fit. Okay, it is up to the edge there and I think I am just going to do probably a one eighth of an inch score line. On, I might do it on both sides. It's very, it's very, very close. It's very close to my flap, and it's very close to the edge there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna grab my small scoreboard, and I'm going just one notch on. And I think I'll be safe now. And let's finish on that score line. And do another test and see if it is going to be good. Yes. Yes. That is much better. It's a much better fit. Okay, so we are gonna die cut it now i'm putting it down on my grid paper and i let my grid paper help me i know this is six inches and this might fit perfectly yeah now i am i'm in the middle so what i do is i count the lines to the middle and count the lines to the middle and i'm just gonna use some tape and i'm just gonna tape it down and i'm gonna run this through my die cut machine so there is mine i've done my die cut then when you do you will fold your flaps you just need to cut it and cut that side as well because it's going to stick out straight then i think i've got one little thing there poke it out And that fit to our page. Now we need to get paper for this and paper for that. So I want to show you what I've done. I just I have
haven't had enough paper to put on on my side here on to get the length so I had to put another piece there and our pocket is in and we can have it's a nice deep pocket you see that's it I had to put a strip that piece was not a long enough so I had to do a little bit of a strip here but we can we can still put something here so that it's not so obvious that I was too short of paper let's turn it so that's that one and then that's gonna be that one and that is our first inner page that's looking like that oh. sorry sorry I was not in frame sorry this is so big so that is what I mean and that's what it looks like we're not going to put this in yet we are going to do the next one and that is our pocket page I'm just going to go and get all, all the paper for this. And I'm probably going to have to die cut that as well. And you can see with the die cut, um, that's the line here. This is what, what this one cuts out. It's that stipple, it's, it's, um, it's, it looks like dots. And it's just this one by itself. And that's what's left from the die cut. Don't throw this away. We might use stencils, not stencils, um, punches or something. And we can use that part of the paper. And I'm just going to go in and have a look and see what I can found for my paper. I put my paper on, I die cut, and I came a little short again. Not a problem. After we've done everything, we can revisit our pages. Now it's very interesting in on camera that looks pink but it's green in real life now let's do our pocket but first we are going to do our score tape so that's going to go into into the page like that as, as a page like that so we need to put score tape on this side and let's get that done We'll finish that good. I do hang over. All right, so on our flaps, that is what we're going to put down. And then we're going to come back, we're going to come back and we're going to trim that and that. Okay, now you've got two ways of doing this. You can use score tape or you can use glue. I'm going to use my art lit glue 
and I'm going to put my flaps out now this is what I want to show you you're going to go a little bit away from the score line and we you notch that one in on the edge and here on the edge and on the edge this needs to lie flat I mean really flat because we need to put your your paper in or your photos your photo frames your extra it, it, you don't you don't want to struggle with it you want to just put it in and it needs to go in nicely okay so I'm just gonna <coughs> sorry I'm just going to line it up doesn't matter if you've got a little bit more there it's fine this is line up I've lined up with my score line this line here it is the edge of my paper here it's with my score line and I can just clean that and then make sure that is that is glued and it's down and the edge there and I think I am happy with mine And let's do the side as well. And oh, I'm just gonna mark mine. Sorry, up to where I want to do my glue. I don't want to waste my outlet of glue. Let's there's the mark yep okay let's glue that up and we can bring before we bring it down we need to do our line of glue yes we need to close it there's your line of glue Let's bring it over. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to go with my guide. Now you've got two ways of doing it. You can cut that down there, straight down there on your score line. Or if you want to cut it on an angle, but let's do it on the score line. You see now we've got our pocket page done and if oh sorry if I go like that you can see it's quite thick and you can get a lot in there and we need to do the opposite side this side now let's get the pattern paper for that right i decided on this 
is for my background and it fits perfectly and I can give you the measurements for that if I can find my my ruler is that happening to you as well your place is getting smaller and smaller as you craft okay so that is five by seven I better put it where I easy can get it then what we're going to do I've got a piece of of black paper and let's see I think that size will sight will do for me I'm just gonna cut it I'm just gonna use my scissors and I'm just going to cut it straight I hope Then what I want to do with this, I'm going to do a top corner pocket, like a tuck spot, and yes, I think that is, that's deep enough, and all I need to do, let me just put it that way. So all you need to, to make sure that this side here and that side there, there's enough for you to fold it over. So we are going to make flaps. And all I do is I'm going to draw up to there. And then from that point, I will draw up to there. That's big enough flaps. And then gonna take the biggest scissors and we're just gonna cut basically on our lines to that corner that's all we need to do okay let's see and I'm gonna pinch and I'm gonna hold I'm going to bring it over and I can, here I can see that I've got enough on that side and enough on that side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to use my paper for my guide. And I just burnished it. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm just going to take that over. That's it. And I'm going to lift this. And I'm just bringing it over. Just have to make sure you've got enough paper. Yes, the corner, it's like a V there. I'm just going to cut it out. And that's going to go over and that's going to go over on my paper. And which flowers? It's going to be in that one there. And that is our corner. We're going to glue it. We're going to glue it down onto our page. Or our pocket page. And that will be done. And then we can put it in our book. Now my light is getting very bad at the moment. So I'm just going to put that aside. And then I think I will get carry on tomorrow. Until next time.
thank you for watching and I hope you've learned something from this short tutorial. Until the next time.